done. This is the part two of my February book haul and this will demonstrate why I haven't historically done book hauls because I am forced to confront how many books I have bought. However I must say that this month was a bit of an exception. For one thing I've started a new job at a bookshop and the other thing is that when I left my previous job I was given a very generous book voucher so a lot of these books were bought on that. I met up with some fellow booktubers in London and we went on a bit of a trip around a few different bookshops. So these books are the fruits of that trip. For starters, Mercedes from Mercedes Bookish Musings gave me this book because she had two copies of it. This is Under the Udala Trees by Chinelo Oparanta. Uh, I've been hearing good things about this and it's one that I was considering picking up anyway so when she said hey I have a spare copy of this do you want it I jumped at the chance. This is a coming of age story about a young girl growing up in Nigeria. The second and only other novel of this haul is Carol by Patricia Highsmith which I have read, I listened to the audiobook also seen the film um, but I wanted the physical copy to have in my life um, if I particularly love an audiobook then I will often purchase it as a physical copy just so that it's there and it's very easy to reference a physical book whereas audiobooks are a pain if you're looking for a specific quote or something. Then we have a non-fiction book and this is I Call Myself a Feminist and this is by a variety of authors. It's also edited by a variety of editors. This is the first book that the Feminist Orchestra Book Club is reading. Uh, that's starting in March so I'm looking forward to reading and particularly discussing some of the things in this book. As far as I know this is a fairly straightforward and, and basic introduction to feminism but that makes it perfect for this book club because it's the first book. I was wondering recently if I could get through an entire video without mentioning Jen and her influence on my reading in some way but apparently I can't. Uh, she suggested that I read this so I bought it. This is a poetry collection and we were in the poetry section and I said to her Jen find me a poetry collection to buy and I've read a few stanzas from this and thought yeah this is one that I will enjoy so it, it's Beauty Beauty by Rebecca Perry so I can add this one to my growing list of poetry collections to read. The next few books are graphic novels or volumes of comics uh, the first one being Lumberjanes I have just finished reading Nimona which I adored, thought it was fantastic and I've heard equally good things about this it is by the same author but also there are other people it's a collaborative effort. I believe that the third volume of this has just come out so there's more to read after this too so it's all very exciting and apparently this is just wonderful and feminist and awesome. This next one I hadn't heard of until recently and my colleague said that it was fantastic and I said that it sounded like a terrible idea but I would try it also because I thought that Ant-Man sounded like a terrible idea and that ended up being actually quite good. So this is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl and <laughs> It just looks really really fun. Uh, the artwork and art style is I mean a little bit similar to um, to Nimona and Lumberjanes. A little bit. We've got the Avengers on there as well and and then Squirrel Girl and she has acorn earrings. Look! I love that. Along the same theme of comics that are awesome and feminist. I'm hoping this will be awesome and feminist. It is Thor, Goddess of Thunder and I tend to find Thor quite a boring character. I imagine that Thor could be more interesting as a woman. So this is what this is. So I'm gonna give it a go. This is the first volume and yeah I will let you know what I think. Then we have another Marvel one which is Civil War. Of course the film of this is coming out soon although I imagine that it's going to be significantly different from this. And I've heard mixed things about the comic itself but um, I know that Spider-Man is not in, in the MCU version. Yeah I thought it would be good to have a bit of background and understand what at least some of the source material is because I'm a bit of a nerd like that. If I'm watching a film I like to have read the book or know the biography or read the comic or graphic novel or whatever it is and I haven't been very good at doing that with Marvel films so gonna try harder. And then we have one that Elizabeth has been talking about quite a bit and some other people and it's Odyssey which is a sort of gender flipped reworking of the Odyssey by Homer. 
and this just looks absolutely insane. The artwork is psychedelic. I mean, that's that's really the only way to describe it. The use of colour is quite phenomenal. Perhaps headache inducing, I don't know. I might have to be in the right mood to read this and have the right lighting. But um, yes, as you can see by the cover, just all of the colours. And really trippy pages like this which on screen might look quite quite strange. Okay, so that's it for graphic novels and comics. The next one is a picture book, and I saw this, I've seen this artist's work before on Etsy and other places online, and I didn't realize that she had a book out. This is, this is a recent release. And it's called Miss Moon, Wise Words from a Dog Governess, and it's by Janet Hill, who does these most beautiful, beautiful illustrations. This book is very, very simple. It's basically, you have, a quote of some description. So here we have respect the property of others. And then a beautiful painting to go along with it. They're they're whimsical and delightful and so many dogs and I, I want her dress and I want her hair. And it's just so unusual and unexpected and delightful. I, I'm very happy to have this in my life. Also, got to show you under the dust jacket. So these are the end papers. And then it looks like this. And the spine looks like this. And then the back looks like that, which I think is absolutely delightful. And as much as I love the artwork on the actual cover, I really adore this as well. So at this point, I was at the end of my voucher and I bought this one here, which is scripts. And it's all about hand lettering and script design and fonts from the golden age, which according to this, ran from the end of the 19th century into the early 20th century. And basically this is just a wonderful source book of lots and lots of type inspiration. And it's divided up into countries. So I think the first section is British, and then we've got bits of German and French and Italian. And then I think the last bit is American, but it's just chock-a-full of beautiful, beautiful inspiration and yeah this is definitely the sort of book that I will use and refer to a lot. Same goes for this book here which is The Grammar of Ornament and this is another source book. This has been around for years and years. I think it came out, yes it came out in 1856 so many many years and this is a sort of compendium of designs throughout the ages and across the world. So there are designs from ancient Egypt, you've got things from Pompeii and the Roman Empire, Persian ones, you've got Chinese ones there, these are medieval, a whole set of Renaissance designs. So apparently this has been used throughout the ages by artists such as William Morris. So I figured that this was an investment piece like the lettering one. It's one that will stay on my shelf for years and years and I will refer to a lot, I think. If you know anything about my design work, I'm very interested in pattern and surface design. Um, so yes, all very relevant. So those were the many, many books that I bought in February. I'm a little bit scared to count them all because I know there were a lot. I do plan to do a video before too long where I talk about my design book collection because I have quite a number of those now and sort of talk about how I use the different ones that I have. I will also be filming a wrap up of February before too long so you will see some of these books that I've mentioned in the past two videos popping up there. But until then, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye.